And welcome back to the Factor on Censored. A sheriff's deputy patrolling a Florida beach is in big trouble tonight. Forget this. Running over a whole human, a whole person, someone living and breathing and trying to get just a little sun. Now joining us here on the Factor on Censored now is Fox Tampa reporter Dan Maddox, who has been following the story from the beginning. So first of all, Dan, when I looked at the video of the report, I'm like, what is that big ass SUV doing on the beach? Uh, that's the question that I think everybody really wants to know right now. And uh, Right now, the sheriff's office, they don't seem to be commenting on it. Um, but, you know, this isn't the first time that this is this has happened. It's happened here in the Tampa Bay area years ago. The photographer I actually worked with on this story. Uh, he used to work in Jacksonville, Florida, on the other side of the state and said it had happened there uh, and the lady was seriously injured and uh, she ended up suing the sheriff's office over there in, in the Jacksonville area. Um, it's also happened in Southern California. Um, so it's they have ATVs, everybody's kind of wondering that I've talked to is like, they obviously use them. Why only go on the beach if it's not an emergency or, or they're responding to a call? Through a routine patrol, it's kind of uh, leaving a lot of question marks. Absolutely. And obviously, this woman will likely file a civil lawsuit. I'm sure that's ahead. The Sheriff's Department obviously now not commenting. They see uh, they have an internal investigation under rate, right? Uh, that's right. We reached out specifically to see if they're going to change the policy about, you know, having large SUVs, not small SUVs. These are large SUVs uh, out on the beach. And, and they said that they, they haven't responded to that. And they're citing an ongoing investigation, but you, you, you feel bad for this poor lady who was just trying to enjoy a day at the beach and then this happens, you know? Sunbathing. So tell us how he ran over her. I explain that for us. So from what I understand, from what they did, they did say in their um, press release is that uh, I guess he was out there talking to other people on the beach with his window rolled down. And then he got another 911 call he needed to respond to, needed to respond to, um, so you would assume that maybe he was a bit distracted trying to get to that other call, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in a hurry. I don't, I don't know the details of that if he was in a hurry um, and, and clearly didn't see this lady. And when he ran over her midsection and, and upper back. Oh, my God. So how is she doing? Have you been able to get an update on her? Was she uh, immediately hospitalized? You know, we know we know she was taken to the hospital. Uh, we were told with non-life threatening injuries, and then that's kind of that's kind of it. Uh, we, we've not been able to get in touch with her or her family to see how she's doing, but we were told non-life threatening injuries. But um, that's a great question. It would be great to know just how seriously injured she is and if she's going to have issues down the road because of this. Now, is St. Pete a public or private beach, and are they saying anything about this? Um, so the sheriff's office. They are not, yeah, it's two different jurisdictions. So the city of St. Pete Beach is, is their own municipality and the sheriff's mm -hmm. office, they patrol over there. Um, and so the city isn't really commenting on it, but it is a public beach. Um, but yeah, it's not something you see every day. Absolutely, just mind blowing. When I heard it, I said, let's cover it. This is yeah. just some crazy stuff. All right, Dan Maddox with Fox 13 in Tampa, Florida. Thank you for your time, sir, tonight. Of course. Praying for that poor lady.